Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, which is outdoors today. But we're going inside I like, too. I like it outside. I want you to look around. The red buds are mm -hmm. blooming. The trees are trying to blossom out. I need, we're to, go, I need to eat some red buds. I love those. Stand at the they tree. Are good. I like they to stand and eat those. And they're good for you. Yes. You know what? We like to find as much stuff as we can outdoors mm -hmm. and bring in and eat. They like the red buds. All right. Ramps. You know what ramps are? I've never had those, no. Ramps are, now in West Virginia and Kentucky, and I think all the way up into Michigan and in the South, they're a wild onion. Hmm. And they have a, like a sweet garlicky taste to them, the leaves and the bulbs. Really? And guess what? I went up to see Mom and Dad the other day, and they have a whole patch. Oh, wow. I'm gonna show you what they look like. In fact, I took a picture okay. on my phone, and here's what ramps look like. These, some people call them a wild leek, Okay. They're not real strong. But they so they're like a, a leek taste. They are. Okay. But they have a they have kind of a flat stem as opposed to the, the you know the the round right. of an onion, and it tastes great. I'm looking forward to that. So I'm gonna make a little something okay. with that. What else did we see? Not too long ago, we were in the south. Uh huh. And as we were in the south, we saw swampy things. We did. We saw beautiful cypress trees. Mm hmm We saw. Alligators. Lots of alligators. We saw just all kinds of cool stuff. Some snakes. Right. That I didn't like either. Now, something you do like and something I'm so proud of is, is you're an adventurous eater. I am. Very much so. Mm -hmm. And there's not too much we don't like. Every now and then you'll see somebody will cook something that, oh, I can't believe you're eating that. And some people get actually mean about that. Yeah. I was on Kentucky Field for 182 years. That's a long time. I like to take wild game and bring it into the kitchen. Right. We're going to make something tonight. Not because we're trying to be cute or trying to be different mm -hmm. or whatever, because one of the best meats in the world, if you have had turtle, it's wonderful. I love the consistency. Yeah. Now, some people that say there's seven different types of meat. Frog legs are wonderful. Mm -hmm. But one of the best things in the world, and if you've had it out, you probably had some kind of gator tail chunks right. or something Those like are that good. deep fried. What happens when you smoke an alligator? I don't know, I've never had it. Yes, you have. When have remember I? That? Remember I put it on the uh, stick? Oh, you did. That was uh, delicious. Remember how good that was? Okay, the I'm looking forward to it. The consistency is beautiful and wonderful. Right. And cue the balloons and the horns and the stuff, confetti and all that. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because when this show airs, whose birthday will it be? Oh, that's right. My birthday. 27 years old. Oh, 26. You got it off by a year. Oh, yeah. I'm only 26. That's, that's right. Happy birthday, Nikki. Oh, thank you. And. I made you an alligator for your birthday. Oh, that's my favorite. I'm you so excited. Like I do like alligator. <laughs> I like the fact that she's adventurous. Now, we have a couple recipes tonight that are different. We're going to take what we found mm -hmm. around. Now, I've got the gator. Now, I went down to Barry's in Elizabethtown, and I bought me a gator. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I've been thinking about gators. And again, this is not a novelty. Right. This is good food, good yes. eating. So how did we prepare our gator? Now, we didn't have the cameras rolling. and. When Kelly's not around, we don't even try because... Right. I mess it all up. I mess it up, too. <laughs> so we took some pictures, though. Uh -huh. So we got us about an eight-pound gator. That's right. What did we do? We brined him. He was uh -huh. already clean. He was already gutted. Right. <laughs> but anyhow, what we're going to do is brine that. And it's a very simple brine. We're going to do three-quarters of a cup of kosher salt. It's basically per eight cups of water. We're going to use about three-quarters of a cup of soy, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, then we're going to come back with some black pepper, about four tablespoons, mm -hmm. and then two tablespoons of garlic. Put a little lemon pepper in there, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, and you're going to have you a good brine. So eight hours, mm -hmm. brought him out here, fired the Traeger up, put it on 250. Now we start him today at about what? It was two o'clock. Two o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're going to let it go for about five hours. The tail, the thickest part of the tail needs to be about 180 degrees. Okay. Set him on the grill. Wrapped a little bacon around it. It's cute. very, very lean meat. So what do you want to do? Put some you fat. Wanna, you want to put some fat on there, and moisten that up. And bacon doesn't taste bad. No, bacon's good. Tempting. You also put an orange in his mouth. It looks cute. Yeah, Just to yeah, give some. Yeah. I, didn't want him, right. I didn't want him to starve while he was in there. <laughs> so we're going to reveal this gator and we're going to take it in and sample it. Now we're also going to make a ramp dip. We've also got another southern surprise: some pasta, mm -hmm. a cold pasta salad. It's absolutely wonderful, and. A wonderful dessert. But let's okay. reveal our gator real quick. So here we go. Look what we do. Yum. Got. Look at that. He looks pretty good. It looks like he's got a new skin. Yes, it does. All right, let's get Gary off here. That's that his tail name? is breaking off. Is it so good? That's that, a good that's sign. That's when you know it's done. 
Now look at that. There he is. He's up to temperature and ready to eat. Yeah. Now, again, this is not just for fun. This is good, good food. And the kids are all coming over tomorrow, kids so we have food. That's right. Some smoke gator. That's right. It's just a lot of fun, and it's very good to eat. All right, let's close this down and take him in. We're back inside, Mrs. Farmer. As you saw, the sky was kind of gray. And yeah. We decided that it's uh, probably going to rain again. That's right. Yay, rain. I think we need more rain. <laughs> well, what did you get me for your birthday, Mrs. Farmer? What did I get you? For, 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 what, yeah. Wait, yeah, what did you get me for your what birthday? What was your birthday last month? Remember, and I made you a carrot cake for your birthday. Sure. So I'm making a cake again for you for my birthday. How's that? I like it. <laughs> you know what? This is your Grandma Calacarina's <laughs> recipe. Yes, and this is that book that every yeah. time you say, hey, how about a good dessert? I look in here and I always find something that's like, wow, what's this? Remember the fresh apple cake? It's on the same page as the German oh, peach cake. cake. So now we're going to have a peach cake. What do you think about that? It's very simple. Yeah. And we haven't even made it, but it, we, it's just... Sometimes you're in the mood for peaches, right. so and so forth. And you know it's going to be good. If she it's had it in her book, good. it's going to be good. All right, I got my glasses on because I'm going to read it all. What we have right here. And we're doing the cake first because the oven's warmed up. Right. And we'll be making other stuff. We need dessert. Our cake is done. We yeah. need dessert. And we're going to start with, and she put a quarter. It's funny how they put stuff. Quarter pound of butter, which is actually one stick. And you're going to be my mixer today. Will you do right, that for me? I'll do it. And I'm going to put in three eggs. And I'm going to have you mix that. Even though it doesn't say how to do it, I like to mix my eggs with my butter. This is a fun meal. Mm -hmm. It's a complete thought process. But we've got our protein right over here. It's, it's different. But for all those naysayers, the mission statement of our show, my goofy song that I wrote in the beginning, one of the things that I said in there is actually something that I'm really fond of. Try some grub you've never tried before. When people hold their nose and walk mm -hmm. away from something they've never tried before, it's kind of childish. And I mean, I understand that this looks like a monster. But you are what monster, you eat. But you are what you eat. <laughs> so yeah. you have to try chicken. Yeah, you do. That's right. <laughs> but, you know, I would, I would really recommend step outside of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You might just, just like Kelly, years ago she wouldn't touch venison. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, guess who's hauling all of you got to watch our freezer now. Oh. Even. All right, back to the cake. All right, and I'm going to add, so far I have the three eggs, a stick of butter, and I'm going to do a cup of sugar. And if all you right. will mix that up for me, we're going to cream will. that up together. Keep going. You can turn it off for a minute. We're going to add some more to it. Yeah. All right. So Grandma always said make sure she liked to put her sugar in her eggs. I remember her always doing that in her butters. All right. Now we're going to put our dry ingredients together, which gotcha. is two cups of flour. And as she said, here she calls for a teaspoon of baking powder. Now when you're baking here, you got to pay attention to you got to pay right. attention to every ingredient. So go ahead and mix, and I'm going to slowly add okay. this. Let's try not to make a mess. Starting to look like a cake mix. The apple cake in it a little bit thicker, yeah. like a big cookie. Yeah, you know the great thing about cooking with your family's recipes is you keep them alive in your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And when when you you think about Grandma Calacarinas, I didn't know her. I wish I would. Right. But you know this keeps her alive. And these recipes that we have, uh, get them from your parents and your grandparents mm -hmm. and your great grandparents. Right? Oh it's yeah. Still with I'm supposed to put that in my face and turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, happy birthday again, Mrs. Farmer. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. 26, you say? 26. Times? Put nothing. Hey, I'm going to put the book away because I think I got it from here. You got it from here? And here we've got us. I've greased a pan. So now we're going to go ahead, if you want to tip that, right. and I'm going to scoop it all. We're going to make that flat in here. And this has a, it's a thicker consistency than a cake a little bit, isn't it? It's more like the apple cake. Yeah. I'm excited. Ooh. I think this is going to be good. You know, How when you made that apple cake, it was it had the consistency of a, of a brownie or a cookie. This is kind of the same, isn't it? It's between a cookie and a cake. So I got a feeling you're going to like this one, too. Spread it out. All right, now, here's where the peaches come in. You want to help me out? We're just going to lay peaches on this. So if you want to help me, you do that? layer some peaches. You don't want to touch the peaches? I want sticky fingers. All right. I see you have more to put on over there. I do. There's another couple ingredients that go on. And I'm going to have to have you do that because my hands are all wet. And this is 350 for how long? Till brown. Till brown. So, so you have to keep it on. We're going to check it at 20 minutes and just see. All right. Now it's said to sprinkle the top with cinnamon. I'll let mm -hmm. you be the cinnamon person. And brown right. sugar. At the same time? Yeah. Just put it. You go ahead if you want. Wherever. We're just going to kind of. mix it in. And it didn't say an amount. It just said to sprinkle it. So I guess we'll Oops. just. What we think looks good. And we like a lot of. Cinnamon's good. Yes, it is. And brown sugar. That looks oh, good. That smells good. So wow. now we're going to go ahead. I would say 20 minutes to 30 minutes. We'll check it and we're going to have a peach cake. We'll let you know. Yeah. You ready? All right. I'll pop it open for you.
You know, on turtles, they said there's seven different types of meat. Okay. It's kind of here. They look on his leg. It's dark. But here's the reveal. Huh. Now, I've been picking on it. I couldn't, I couldn't wait. But here's what happens. Look here, Nikki. Oh, wow. I want you to look at this meat right here. Watch what happens when I pull right off, I guess you'd call it the tenderloin. And look at that piece of meat right there. Wow. I mean, look at this piece of meat. You've had turtle before. Look at this piece of meat. Smell that piece of meat. It smells really good. Now, here's what you do. You take the top of this and you look, look how it's just falling apart. Yeah. Look at this piece of meat right here. Before you turn your nose up and say, oh, I would never eat that. I wish I had some. I'll give you the best piece. Wow. Is that not wonderful? Mm -hmm. White, good. flaky. That's better than fried. I like it smoked better. Mm. Wow. Mmm. I bet it's healthy too and light. It's not real heavy. Are we eating healthy? Wow. No. The actual thing about it, it is healthy. It's very lean. You can see hardly any fat in it. How about the bacon? Is that healthy? Well, of course. Uh, I love the bacon. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's stupid good. It seems so unusual. They look like they could eat you. Mm -hmm. when, we were, when we were down in Florida. They were this big by the dock. Oh yeah, Warren has some that uh, he, I think he's got them named down there. So let's set him aside. Now the great thing about this, you put it in the refrigerator, it's just as good cold. I wanna pull it out and show Victoria so she can scream when she gets here. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about Victoria uh -huh. and Nick coming in. Now, remember That's they right. got engaged on the show? That's right. Guess what? They're getting married. Finally, yay! We might show a little bit of that on the show mm -hmm. because our kids are our kids. Right. Darren didn't want to be on when him and Kelly got married. No, he likes He's to. very shy. Yes, he is. But this is going to be at the castle. That's is right. that not cool? They're getting married. And we'll show you some pictures and make a little And video I think we should serve alligator. Wouldn't she love that? Let's get back to our ramps. All right, we're going to obviously cut these roots off. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to waste anything. Too much. But smell this. Wow. It's not real strong. It's got a great taste. So we can We're eat all this? We're not going to waste any of this. Now, in a lot of different parts of the country, and I knew somebody from Pennsylvania who, when they would find their ramps, they would make what they would call a ramp spread. But being that it has a wonderful flavor. Now, what I'm going to do, too, with these, once I get them ready, I'm going to use every bit of this because I want, I want all of this flavor. Let's take a real good look. Now that's a tiny bulb on that, but that's really representative of the leaf. And it has such a wonderful. It's almost garlicky too. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Yeah. So we're gonna take our ramps, Mrs. Farmer. Okay. And we're gonna take our new Chantel, the F silent. Okay. This is uh, one of the oldest French cheeses around. It smells, it smells like cream cheese, but it's got a sweet flavor to it. It's like yogurty. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to when I went mm -hmm. to buy it today. The had to look it up to find it, but they do have it. It's by it's the close, usually close to the cream cheese. Yeah. Now that's about eight ounces. So we're going to make this prettier later. But Mr. Farmer, here's what I'd like you to do, if you okay. will. I'd like you to lay these out, cut these up as small as you possibly can. Alrighty. And save and, the green. Yeah. Save the green, and then we're going to cut that up really fine as well. All right. Let's come in with some pepper. I'll be your Because stir. you got to put a lot of pepper in everything. Thank goodness there's some pepper left because you know who. Still a lot of pepper. He's on a tear here lately. <laughs> Just salt and pepper to taste. All right. Now, I'm going to come back with this. Okay, mix that in for me right. real good, if you will. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to add some mayo. Yeah. Just for taste and consistency. Mm -hmm. Let's get it a little smoother. Let's keep going. Mix that in, if you will. All right. Because it's your birthday. I get to mix since it's my birthday. And if you want to put a little dill in there, I think, I think it adds oh, a little yeah. flavor. Let's put some dill, flavor, color. Oh. Hmm. Now, just yeah. because it's here. Want some bacon? See where we're going here? I like it. Now, it is ramp season right now. It's also mushroom season. Folks are finding some morels. I haven't found it yet. Last year, we found this beauty, which I've never found here. It's a lobster mushroom. Oh, that's right. It had a wonderful taste. It kind of smelled like, I didn't even think you wouldn't want your mushrooms to smell like seafood, but it had a nice, like it was almost cooked seafood. It's it a wonderful, wonderful flavor. A little more bacon, a little more ramp. When you find the ramps this time of year, know that it's not going to last too long. I was talking to Dad, and he said usually around June, they're done. Really?
I put a lot of mine. Can I try it? Mm-hmm. Let's see your reaction first. That's really good. It's real, it's real smooth and buttery. Oh, it's good. What about the, can you taste I it? I can taste it, yes. It's got a great flavor. Okay. That's a good dip. That's a dip from the yard. I like oh, that. Man. Mm. Those ramps have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful taste. It's kind of like in between a really mild sweet onion and, and a garlic. Yeah, it is. That's good. Thumbs up, Mr. Farmer. Thumbs up. Happy birthday. Thank you. Kanika. I like it. Right. I got this from Barry and the boys in Elizabethtown. We got shrimp from them too. Fresh. Oh, oh. My favorite shrimp. Oh, oh, the Royal Reds. We're going to cut these up because it's going to go in your pasta salad. Mm -hmm. Can I go ahead and throw my shrimp in? I'm going to throw those in. Yes, ma'am. Those are frozen. Good birthday. You can do whatever That's you right. want. And I'm going to put the sausage. It's almost like a little, see how we a got a kind of southern thing going? Is that going to be enough? If, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, that's going to be all perfect. Right. We're going to get those boiling. Those are large shrimp. Mm -hmm. Devein. Right. Peeled and devein is perfect. Beautiful, wonderful. Our sausage. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so however much you like in your salad. It doesn't matter. You've put some pasta together here. It's beautiful colored pasta. I like pasta. colored pasta, and I've oh, already got that ready. And I, pasta. Right, and I've chilled it. I want it cold, right. so it doesn't all stick together. And now we're going to just add veggies. All right. And I've always done, you know, which is we've done pasta salad before Italian dressing. We just put broccoli and right. olives and stuff. Well, we're going to add red peppers to this, and instead of the crab meat, we're doing shrimp, and we're doing your sausage, and we're going to make a little bit of different dressing to go on top of it, too. So it's going to be good. Thanks, Gary. All right, so let's put a little bit of red pepper in there. All right. Now you make a mean cold pasta salad anyway, but you I like know what? Pasta I, don't, I really like what you're doing here. We're doing red peppers, right. and you like broccoli. Don't you love I your love broccoli? broccoli. Got to have fresh broccoli in there. That's good for you. So look what we've got right here. We got a gator. We got a pasta salad coming up. We got a ramp spread, which is absolutely wonderful. I could eat every bit of that. And I know you, could, you almost did. I haven't had much. The only reason I left any, that for you is guess why? Why? This is my birthday. birthday. <laughs> okay. I'll eat every bit of All it. All right. Thank you. Some more broccoli. All right. And you can put as much or little as you want. Did I see a tomato? That'll be for the end. We're going to put that on the top. Okay, gotcha. Now I have some olives, and I bought them black sliced. Okay. I love black olives. We'll put those in there. Man, that is colorful. Beautiful. That's the base. Now our meat's still going over here. All right. While you're stirring that, I'm going to bring this back. Now, usually when I do a, sal a pasta salad, I just put Italian dressing in it. Mm -hmm. And she told me, hers was so good. She said, Well, I have mayonnaise and I have ranch dressing too. So I'm like, she didn't say how and much. Italian dressing. Yes. So I took two heaping tablespoons here. Oh, well, you know the amounts because you know what you put in here, so yeah. you can kind of eyeball it and see. And if somebody doesn't like it or wants a little more of something. This is summertime looking. That's right. It's getting warmer out. Let's do about, oh, what do you think that is? That was two and a half tablespoons. Was it? All right. Now I also have some ranch. I love ranch. You like ranch? I'm sorry. I love ranch. You can put what you want. I'll do about even. Let's see how, the, how that turns out. That's looking good. Good? Mm, All right. Tangy. So if you want to do a little more Italian, whatever you want, you could add to it. I think it's Your own good. thing? All right. I wonder what some bacon in there. We, you know what? Let's put bacon in this salad. That's a great idea. You are smart. Because Gary over here. Needs some? Doesn't need his bacon anymore. And we also, I have cheddar cheese and Parmesan. I would, if you would, we're going to mix this cheddar cheese in with it now. The Parmesan's okay. for the top. All right. I just threw a cup of cheese in there. And you gave me how many pieces of bacon? A couple pieces of bacon here? A couple. Good idea. That's just a good topper. You know what? You're right. Mmm. Perfect. That bacon tastes like gator. You need to mix our salad up for us now, Mixer Boy. Oh, yeah. Get it all good for us. I do have mixing skills, don't I? You do. You're, you're into, what do you think? Do you think our shrimp and stuff's looking good? I think it probably is. All right. I'm going to go ahead and drain that, and we're going to cut these up and put this in. All right, so you chilled your shrimp and your sausage? I did. So we can cut them up and put them in there. All right. Sausages are ready. Those are ready. Throw those in. Look at our salad. This is the Look most amazing. I can. She called this her expensive high dollar, seventy-five dollar salad. And I can see why. Because you, she made a huge batch. She was oh, feeding yeah. hundreds of people. All right, here we go. Let's put our dressing. Final steps. And if we need more, if it does like we need more, we can always put more in there. All right, now we're gonna dice your tomato. And you can go ahead if you'd like and throw your your bacon on there. All right. <laughs> Good idea. That's something she didn't have. All right, we're just gonna. Just she just sprinkled. So she just put these on the top, just for. Just look at that. Is didn't that even stir them in. Yes. We and got company coming. We do. Parmesan cheese. Right. I mean, can you? Have we added everything we could to this? That's absolutely just phenomenal. There you go. Ta-da! All right, that's a good-looking salad.
I want you to look what we got here. Again, look at this. If somebody didn't tell you, hmm, that looks like a good piece of smoked fish. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely wonderful. Clary, What'd you do to my be... cake? I see something on there extra. You threw something on there, didn't you? I like peaches and honey. I, I see the honey. I That's like it. a little bit of honey. Does it need a more sweet? <laughs> but look, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't, we gotta try our salad first. That's right, you made the salad good too. From your really... new friend. Mm, I got some, I need shrimp. Wow. Did you get a piece of shrimp? Mm, mm, mm. Now that's a good seafood pasta, high dollar salad. Can we don't forget our ramp oh, spread. Yeah. Look for those while you're looking for mushrooms. And you almost ate all of it. I did, now we gotta try this right here. Look at that. Now, while you're cooking it, it envelops the peaches and they're inside yeah. of it. I like that you put peaches, you could have had more. Oh my, I do. It was grandma, not me. It's not just because I'm hungry, that's really good. You like that? You can eat it like the apple cake? <laughs> Ramps, salad, gator. Don't knock the gator once it's you've good. got it. And your wonderful grandmother's cake can't hardly beat it. Mm -hmm. You know what, it is April this weekend. Mm -hmm. And here's just a real quick clip. This is one reason I always found your family fascinating. The okay. games that your mom would set up. The Easter eggs. It is gonna be Easter, that's right. The kids, the grandkids, and your mother would have everybody get in brackets. Oh, yeah. It's almost like the final four. You're getting all oh, these brackets yeah. and everybody hits each other's eggs. Spend hours picking your eggs. And whoever wins gets bragging rights. The more rights. people, the fun, more fun it is too. It is fun, because you play against this one. Right. But that's an old, old, old Greek tradition, I think Greek it is. tradition. That's really neat. So, right before I climb into this food and eat every bit of it, we're gonna talk about the fact that we have a Facebook page. We do. That's a good way to keep up with us, because we'll right. tell you where we're going, what we're doing. But it's so hard. It is really difficult. It's difficult to get on. Do you have your Do you have your diagram of how you get? Have you? I just I hit like, I hit like. It's really difficult. You hit like no, in uh -huh, your Facebook page. Uh -huh. It's a lot of fun. Also, if you've seen these recipes and think, I bet they have hundreds and thousands and millions of more recipes. Where uh -huh. would you go, Mrs. Farmer? TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com. We have gazillions of recipes on there. Hit shows, then YouTube. One more thing. Hit the red button. Hit subscribe. That way, if a new one comes out. They get it. You know about it. Half an hour's <sighs> up, Mrs. Farmer. That's right. We had wonderful food. And again, don't be afraid to try some grub you've never tried mm -hmm. before. At this point, we're going to say it's all about good times, good friends. And look at the good eats. And good we're gonna job. Eat them. We're not going to eat them all because we got company. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mrs. Farmer. Well, thanks. Oh, I got a kiss for your birthday. Oh. How about that? To order a cookbook, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com.